The Power of Positive Thinking by Norman Vincent Peale Summary from 4-Minute Books Written by Nicholas Gouquet and read by Craig Trailer. One Sentence Summary The Power of Positive Thinking will show you that the roots of success lie in the mind and teach you how to believe in yourself, breaking the habit of worrying, and take control of your life by taking control of your thoughts and changing your attitude. Favourite quote from the author The way to happiness. Keep your heart free from hate, your mind from worry. Live simply. Expect little. Give much. Scatter sunshine. Forget yourself. Think of others. Try this for a week and you will be surprised. Norman Vincent Peale was an American minister and author of one of the world's best widely recognised motivational speakers in the 20th century. His most popular book, The Power of Positive Thinking, has sold over 5 million copies worldwide and takes the Christian perspective and real-world approach to a positive psychology. Since Peel wasn't a scientist, many mental experts disregarded the ideas from his book and it received a lot of both favourable and highly critical feedback. However, it's hard to deny the real-world impact his ideas have had, for himself being living proof that they work. After a long and by any measures successful life, he died at age 95 on Christmas Eve in 1993. It's not every day that you get to learn from someone who received the Presidential Medal of Freedom, so let's not waste time, shall we? Here are three lessons to help you think more positively. 1. Start with confidence and watch your problems shrink. 2. Your world is nothing more than the thoughts you have about your experiences. 3. In order to live worry-free, first imagine a worry-free life. All right, let's pump up the positive jam. Lesson 1. Believe in yourself and visualise your goals to see how small your problems really are. Yes, confidence is important, because if you feel inferior, you act inferior. We know confidence alone doesn't solve all problems. After all, it's not the same as competence. And telling a kid who's horrible at math that she's great won't make her study more for the next test. However, the case of believing in yourself that Peel makes is one that we've all experienced. The self-fulfilling prophecy. It's a common idea from self-help books to Napoleon Hill that already addressed it 80 years ago. When you start a new job and go in on the first day, thinking that no one will like you, that you'll probably screw up and not fit in well, well, guess what? You'll behave in a way that makes sure it comes true. Even worse, when you then get back the feedback that you were right, this drives even more negative thoughts, thus starting a vicious cycle. It is up to you to actively change your thoughts and believe that you can bring value where you go. Peel suggests an exercise to help you do that, which happens to be backed by science. Visualise your goals and the positive outcomes you want. What should your life look like in six months? Which goals do you want to achieve? Then contrast those by visualising the problems and obstacles that you might face along the way. This is called mental contrasting, and it has been proven to cause changes in behaviour that last for weeks, with as little as a few minutes worth of exercise. Lesson 2. Your attitude determines your entire life. This quote really struck me. Your world is nothing more than the thoughts you have about your experiences. Of course, all the problems in your life are real. And yes, some of them might take a few years to solve, like debt or a serious illness. But how you react to those problems is entirely up to you. You might not be able to solve those problems at the push of a button, but your attitude is something you can change from one second to the next. Your world, your reality, is only determined by what you think about with everything you experience in life. For example, if you leave your house tomorrow morning and you're almost hit by a car, which breaks at the last second, you can treat this as a bad sign to spend the rest of the day walking around afraid of everything and anything. Alternatively, you can take this experience as a wonderful gift, a miracle even, and live your life to the fullest, enjoying every single second of the day and being grateful. Don't choose negative thoughts when you can choose positive ones, ever. Lesson 3. 
imagine your life free of worry to become less concerned about the future. Here's a super meta hack for worrying less. Imagine yourself as a worry-free person in the future. Just imagine that it's possible for you to live without worry will take a lot of your current worries away. Just imagining that it is possible for you to live without worry will take a lot of your current worries away. Worrying is a major source of stress and thus often leads to heart disease, arthritis and other sickness, which cause your life expectancy to go down. So it's in your best interest to eliminate it wherever possible. Close your eyes, look into the future and imagine yourself a few months or a few years from now, living free from all the worries that currently plague you and you'll feel much better when you open your eyes again. Peel calls this the draining your mind and it's specifically helpful before going to sleep because then positive thoughts will sink into your subconscious instead of negative ones. Hey, this is Nick, the founder of 4-Minute Books and I want to thank you so much for watching our video. Leave a like if you enjoyed and subscribe to the channel for more. You can also visit us at 4minutebooks.com for hundreds of free book summaries, each of which will make you smarter in 4 minutes or less. Thanks again and always keep learning.